if you understand that term to have such a broad sense, but you speak to an audience that understands the term to have a somewhat narrower sense, it lends to your remarks a quality of sensationalism and a force that's strictly locutionary, just strictly linguistic. It's kind of empty rhetoric. Yeah. <laughs> but as much as I could do it, I gave already the proofs that it is not only sensation, but it has to be sensation. Otherwise, it would be of no interest. <laughs> <laughs> It has to be sensationally. So it has also to be dramatically because it is a drama. So it is a new way to play the Hamlet on stage. <laughs> you know, in the street you can see people, they play the Hamlet better than me. Yeah. And that is the whole sense of the thing. So it stays in a very, in the very energy in the middle of the understanding of art and covers also demands of people who are interested in high developed character of painting and high developed ideas of architecture and sculpture. It covers it, but it covers it not even, it is the, uh, it is the, uh, the premise to come to quality in painting. So I say only simple, he who is not or she who is not interested in social sculpture will never come in result with painting. They will never be an interesting painting anymore. If there is not a new soil prepared, a new hum humus prepared for all these questions, for the idea of humankind and his ability with his spirit. Because this is a, this solves the energy problem. We are not de dependent on fuel. We can also survive with a glass of water because we have the willpower, the feeling power, and the, the power of thought, the power of imagination, transformation, inspiration, intuition. And if we go on with this energy, we are independent on fuel. <laughs> so I must, must check by myself. Uh, Mr. Mr. B? I think now, oh yes, another question. Oh, okay, Mr. yeah. Mr. B, uh, can I speak? Continue, yeah. Uh, uh, do you have an American favorite artist? And why? Oh yes, I could, yeah, I could, I could tell you about. Uh, why? Why? Who? What? Who? Who? Jackson Pollock. Huh? Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock. Why? Because he made a kind of generalization, yes, you know, which impulsed me to do also a kind of generalization. But not in the field of painting, in the field of the energy problem. Right. I found always that Jackson Pollock had a relation to the problem of energies, you know. It was a very uh, mesmerizing kind of painting. It was a, a power field. Right, could he be wrong though? You know, could he, could he have been wrong? Could? Could he have been wrong? No. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. And so did Elvis Presley. <laughs> 